When running a rail system, or railroad, so many factors come into play. Passengers, staff and the general public all have an effect on the railway's operations and safety. In many instances, factors beyond the control of the rail company can produce catastrophic and even fatal results. This is true of a serious incident that occurred in the early hours of March the 27th this year, 2020. At approximately 3.15am, a New York subway train was travelling northward when, on approach to Central Park North, 110th Street station, caught fire, with flames erupting in the second carriage. Very sadly, the train driver was killed, with a further 16 people injured. The station itself was severely damaged, with many other carriages also badly damaged. However, one positive aspect was that the conductor, or guard as some of you know the role to be called, and another member of MTA Mass Transit Authority staff managed to evacuate all of the carriages on the platform and from the second train which was sitting just inside the tunnel behind the first train. Over 100 firefighters attended the scene, battling to bring it under control. Making things even more difficult was the thick acrid smoke billowing from the fire and travelling through the station and out onto the street. Once the fire had been put out, it became clear that the train was very, very badly fire damaged indeed, with further smoke and flame damage to the area of the station in which the train was sitting. Of the 16 injured, five of whom were firemen, four were very seriously injured. Tragically, the driver died at the scene after helping passengers to evacuate. He was found alive on the tracks, however, died shortly thereafter. There were also reports of fires at 86th, 96th and 116th Street stations. Coincidence? All the stations ending in a 6th? No, not a coincidence at all. The fire in the second carriage of the 110th Street incident was a shopping trolley which had been set on fire. The other incidents were indeed treated as suspicious. Consequently, a reward was posted for $50,000 together with a picture of a person of interest. The thought by the New York Police Department was that this resembled an arson attack and was the action of a potentially emotionally disturbed person and Nathaniel Avinger was arrested within two days of the release of the picture, and was the prime suspect in the investigation. Police said they identified Avinger as the suspect from surveillance video near the scene. As a result of the incident, many services were suspended or diverted, with some being replaced temporarily with bus-linked services. We hope you found this short video of interest. Please like share and subscribe to encourage us to produce more of these information videos.